You may have seen doctors or chiropractors advertising amniotic or cord stem cell injections in the newspaper or on TV that claim to be able to cure lots of orthopedic conditions. However, there's another side to the story that patients digging into this topic need to know. So I first became interested in amniotic stem cells a couple of years ago when a sales rep told me that he had millions of amniotic stem cells that were in a vial. So I said, great, that would be wonderful if it were true, and if it is, we're in, but I need to test that in my own lab first. So we did the testing in our lab, and regrettably, not only were there no stem cells, but there was no living tissue at all. It was all dead tissue. So when we didn't find any stem cells, this kind of made sense because the way these tissues are harvested in public hospitals, and then they're processed, and then they're cryopreserved, and then they're shock thawed in a doctor's office, you wouldn't really expect to see much living tissue in these products. Okay, here's where we are at this point. Amniotic and cord blood cell products that are being aggressively marketed by sales reps and physicians as having live stem cells didn't have any living stem cells when independently tested by this research team. So if you look at the latest advertisements, and we can look at one of them now, we'll see that the Stem Cell Institute of America is reaching out to chiropractors to do these procedures in their offices. They have these huge advertisements in chiropractic magazines. I mean, it's the whole entire page, as you can see. They're using advertisements as a recruitment tool. When stem cells first started, when they were doing them for patients, it was done by trained medical doctors. But the Stem Cell Institute of America is approaching chiropractors to have these medical procedures performed in their often non-medical offices. You've probably seen ads for this company in the newspaper. Let's take a look at a chiropractor giving a seminar on amniotic stem cells. And then after the child is born, they're able to save the placenta, process that, and then that's where we get stem cells from, or the, 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 the alternative to adult stem cells. And then finally, placental stem cells from amniotic tissue. We talked about that. The amniotic tissue is so much more active. But is any of this true? Are there really active young stem cells in the products used by Stem Cell Institute of America? So the stem cell injections that we utilize from the amniotic stem cells. What stem cell product does Stem Cell Institute of America claim it uses? On their website, the Stem Cell Institute of America states it uses palingen flow. We did find a scientific team who had worked with the Interventional Orthopedic Foundation, who had actually tested palingen flow to see if it had living stem cells. So we tested this product, and the viability was very poor for a properly cryopreserved stem cell product. We then tried to see if any stem cells would grow. Nothing grew, so we concluded that this product had no viable stem cells. See healthy living stem cells from bone marrow on the left, and contrast where there is nothing resembling stem cells from the palingen flow on the right. Interestingly, the IOF received a letter from a PhD who had also tested palingen flow. His position was also that palingen flow had no viable and functional stem cells. However, he felt the product could have some clinical benefit through native growth factors. If it doesn't have stem cells, is this just a weird slip of the tongue? And that's where we get stem cells from. Placental stem cells from amniotic tissue. Inside the stem cells that we use, the stem cell injections that we utilize from the amniotic stem cells. When we get the stem cells from the amniotic stem cells, the four reasons to get these injections. Number one, they only work if you get one, right? You can't get better with stem cells if you don't get stem cells. So what research exists that shows palagen flow can cure knee, hip, or shoulder arthritis? There's no published research. As recently as November 2017, Brent Dietlick is represented as the president of the Stem Cell Institute of America. Perhaps the most shocking revelation is that Brent Dietlick was convicted by a jury for healthcare fraud as a chiropractor in 2007 and sentenced to three years in prison. He regularly billed for services that were not rendered. His patients would receive reimbursement checks from insurance, cash them, and bring the money to his office or directly to Dietlich. Many of these patients would also sign blank treatment cards to facilitate billing for services not rendered. Dietlich would frequently reimburse patients for some percentage of this pay, a process known as fee splitting. With the FBI permission, Dietlich was secretly recorded regarding the FBI investigation, saying, the best safest place is to not know anything, and stated, I'm not going to know anything. Dietlich was sentenced for three years in prison for his healthcare fraud. 
On January 5th, 2018, the same day the original version of this video was released, Brent Dietlich resigned as president of Stem Cell Institute of America. So here's what we have. We have chiropractors all over the country who have signed on to the Stem Cell Institute of America network who are telling patients that they are performing stem cell injections. It's like Costco. We buy our stem cells in bulk. We've got a bunch of folks here and we get a bunch and we just pass those discounts directly on to you. We know that the Stem Cell Institute of America says on their website that they use a product called Palogen Flow. We also know that the IOF and an independent PhD tested this product and found no stem cells. So if there aren't any stem cells, is this stem cell fraud?